আজকাল আমরা কেমন সেলফিশ হয়ে যাচ্ছি কেউ কারোর সম্পর্কে ভাবি না কেউ কারোর জন্য অপেক্ষা করি না কেউ কারোর সাথে কিছু শেয়ার করি না এই স্বার্থপর বা সেলফিশনেস থেকে কিন্তু ছোটোবেলার সেই স্টোরিটা মনে পড়ে যায় আমরা বলি না তুই কেমন সেলফিশ জয়েন্টের মতো করছিস আমাদের নেক্সট পারফরমেন্স ইজ সেলফিশ জয়েন্ট প্রেজেন্টিং বাই শোভা বাজার কেএমটিআই সো প্লিজ হোল্ড ইউর ব্রেথ অ্যান্ড ওয়েট ফর দ্য সেলফিশ জয়েন্ট সো নাও উই আর গোয়িং টু প্রেজেন্ট সেলফিশ জয়েন্ট and our dear batch is v batch of shobha bazar is going to present the selfish giant so let's go for it every afternoon after school some children used to go and play in the giant's garden
One day, the giant came back. He had been to visit his friend, the Cornish ogre, and had stayed with him for seven years. After the seven years were over, he had said all that he had to say, for his conversation was limited, and he decided to return to his own castle. When he arrived, he saw the children playing in the garden. So he started building a high wall around the garden. And put up a notice board, trespassers will be prosecuted. The poor children had now nowhere to play. Then the spring came and all over the country were little blossoms and little birds. But in the garden of the selfish giant, it was still winter. The birds did not care to sing in it as there was no children and the trees forgot to blossom. The only people who were pleased were the snow and the frost. the north wind came. He was wrapped in furs and he roared all day about the garden and blew the chimney pots down. This is a delightful spot. We must ask the hill to visit us. Why not? So the hill came. Every day for three hours, he rattled on the roof of the castle till he broke most of the slates and then he ran round and round the garden as fast as he could go. He was dressed in grey and his breath was like ice. It is so cold! I cannot understand why the spring is so late in coming! My God! I hope there is a change in weather soon. <sighs> but the spring never came, nor the summer, nor the autumn. When the autumn was passing by, the autumn was not really very happy while passing the giant's garden. He saw there was no blossom, it was only winter, the snow and the frost was only there, was running round and round and round and round and still she felt very sad but she was 
very angry. We will stay here all the year round. Spring, summer, and autumn. You are not welcome here anymore. The autumn was like, I myself don't want to stay here in this selfish giant's garden. I will give golden fruits to every garden, but not to this giant's garden, since he is too selfish. I am the only one to dance through this garden. One morning, the giant was lying awake in bed when he heard some lovely music. Then the hill stopped dancing and the north wind stopped roaring and a delicious perfume came to him through the open window. I think the spring has come at last. I better get outside and see what is happening. And he saw a most wonderful sight through a little hole in the wall. The children had crept in and they were sitting in the branches of the trees. Oh, there is a child behind every tree. But only in one corner, it was still winter. It was the farthest corner of the garden and there was a little boy crying. And the giant's heart melted as he looked out. Now I know why the spring could not come to my garden. I will now break the wall. So he went downstairs and opened the front door quite softly and went out into the garden.
How selfish I have been! I have broken the wall! And now, this will be the children's garden forever! The children got really scared when they saw the giant out in the garden. Only the little boy did not run. His eyes were so full of tears that he did not see the giant coming. Come little boy, let me help you climb the tree. The little boy stretched out his two arms and flung them round the giant's neck and kissed him. Did you stand yeah. you, Mr. Giant? Yes. Did you stand? The giant is not angry anymore. Yes, yes, then let's go, let's yeah. go. Yes. See, I have broken down the wall. You can come here and play any time. And when the people were going to the market, they found the giant playing with the children in the most beautiful garden they had ever seen. One day, the giant asked the children, Where is the little boy? The one I put up on the tree. I don't know. He must be gone away. He doesn't live in our village too. Yes. You must tell him to come and play here with you. We don't know where he lives. I have never seen him before. No? No? Me neither. But don't feel sad. He has come back again. Yes. Don't feel sad, Mr. Giant. See? Every oh, afternoon. I want to see him. When school was over, the children came and played with the giant, but the little boy was never seen again. The giant was very kind to all the children, but he still missed his first little friend. The children was once again very happy to be back and was playing as they used to do. The giant was still feeling sad of thinking how he would like to see him, the first boy that he helped to climb the tree. Years went over and the giant grew very old. He could not play about anymore. So he sat in a huge armchair and watched the children at their games and admired his garden and thought to himself how selfish he had been. He thought to himself regarding the flowers, the spring, the autumn, the frost, but now he is really happy to see all the children playing back in his garden. Beautiful flowers, but 
have the children are ah, the most beautiful of them all. <coughs> One winter morning, as he was looking out of his window, he saw that in the farthest corner of the garden was a tree quite covered with lovely white blossoms. Its branches were all golden and silver fruit hung down from them and underneath it stood the little boy he had loved. Downstairs ran the giant in great joy and out into the garden. And when he came quite close, his face grew with red with anger. Who dared to harm you, little boy? The little boy had in his palms the prince of two nails, and the prince of two nails were on the little feet. And a strange awe fell on him. He knelt before the little child and the child smiled. Remember, once you let me play to your garden, today I will take you to my garden, which is the paradise. And the child's soul left for heavenly abode. When the children ran in that afternoon, they found the giant lying dead under the tree. He seemed as he was sleeping and he was all covered with white blossoms. <laughs> <laughs>